hi guys welcome to my channel my name is sophie in case you are new here um thank you so much for stopping by and i hope you subscribe 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 so it's night time the night before i travel home i just came from work like two hours ago i'm so tired super super tired but i just felt like i needed to do this video because i've thought of doing it severally 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 and because there's a number of stuff that i'm taking to Eldoret, um i thought why not film uh I don't know my most one pieces of 2018 video so that in case i take some stuff home at least i filmed them already i think we'll start with the jewelry so my first most worn pieces of 2018 are these earrings um this white pair of earrings that i bought from rose girl as you can see they are just very basic very very basic so i bought them from rose girl for like they're very affordable. I don't remember the exact price, but I seem to wear them every single day. Okay, of course, not literally every day, but most of the time when you meet me, I will be wearing this white pair of earrings. There's nothing at it too unique about them, but their simplicity is what makes me love them the most. And still on earrings, um, I really love long earrings, especially when my hair is up in a puff like this. So my second most worn pair of earrings would happen to be these. I really, really love these earrings so, so much. Um, they have some two crystals, they have crystals and they have tassels and this one seems to be unraveling, which is not a very good thing. But yes, I wear these earrings a lot. I think because um, they're black, they also go with a lot of the items that I wear on a daily basis. So for earrings, I'll say these two are my most worn um, pair. I don't know if I'm holding it properly. Maybe I hold it like this. You'll be able to see the entire earring better. So the third most worn piece of 2018. Let's go to footwear now. You guys, I bought these slip-ons uh, in Buruburu like six months ago for 500 bob and i think i've worn them like if let me say i've worn them for 70 percent of the weekends that i've worn sneakers and believe me i have so many pairs of sneakers but even terry was making fun of me terry is my colleague from work in case you don't remember her from my first video she always laughs at the fact that i always wear these slip-ons they are very simple they go with a lot of stuff that i own and also uh <laughs> i don't know they're just very easy to walk in and simplicity is just always the best thing so i bought them for 500 bob six months ago and i have worn them too much in fact so these are the pair i'm going to wear tomorrow uh, as I travel to LD so that I can leave them in Eldoret. You know, when they're there, I can't wear them anymore. So the next pair is this. I have worn these boots, I think, too often. But the reason is Nairobi has been having the worst weather ever. Like, I have never seen such bad weather in Nairobi. It's been raining almost every single day. I think it's rained pretty much every other day, except for, like, very countable ones. And these really come in handy. They are very strong. They are black. They are combat. And I bought them from Gummies last year in, I think, November. And they have not failed me. Like, I get a lot of wear out of them. And they just never seem to get spoiled. I really love them, baby. You can wear them with a dress. You can wear them with um, pants, which is what I often do. Actually, leggings, not even pants. And then there's also, that one was from Gummies. And then there's also this pair of brown boots. Um, I really love patent leather. Like, if you know me, you know that I would never pass up on an opportunity to buy anything that's patent leather as long as I have the money. So, this pair of boots, I bought them from Zaful last year. And they are as gorgeous as they look on camera. Or maybe even better. So, I love the, the brown, like, you know, for a change. It's not a black pair of boots. But for me, they're just so basic. They're very easy to walk in very very easy to walk in and um yeah i've worn them so many times and these are not going anywhere they're still going to stay here in nairobi because i feel like they save me a lot and then the next um uh, most one let's go to bags so these two bags that you see behind me are the ones i've carried the most this year because they happen to be my two favorite bags so the first one is this um burgundy 
bucket bag. It's so beautiful. I really love it. It's very, it's nice and small. So I love this. It's very nice. It's like, like you can see through it over here, but um, it still carries my stuff very nice and safe. So I really love this. And my camera keeps losing focus. I don't know why. I hope this video still comes out as great as I want it to come out. But yeah, there's that. And then there's this brown bag. You guys, this is my favorite bag, literally, because it's so simple. It's that brown that I really love. So I've carried it so much, it's starting to, you know, to have these cuts at the top. I've managed to carry it a lot. I've had it for like two years, and in these two years, it has not failed me. It's the perfect size. It's slightly bigger than that burgundy one there, but it's just amazing. So now we can go to the clothes. Let me start with the outerwear. So, in case you do not own a leather jacket, what is wrong with you? <laughs> so the first thing that I've worn like so many times is this like this is my most worn jacket it's this black moto jacket that I bought from Zaful I got it from Zaful uh, a few like last year I bought a white one a pink one a black one a brown one I just bought a lot of leather jackets and this one happens to be my favorite because it's plain I love the silver details over here I love this belt down here like it has this belt and it did cost me quite an amount but I'm very happy I spent on it it's so 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 nice and very comfortable and goes with most of the stuff that I own. There's going to be a lot of blacks and whites and browns in this video because they are just basics. You never go wrong with black and white. So other than this leather jacket, which I hope you have seen very well. I also have this blazer that you saw on my video with Terry this blazer that always comes in handy on any day like when i wear a jumpsuit when i wear a dress when i wear um i don't know regardless of what i wear it always always comes in handy so it's just very basic and this is when i mentioned that i have about 15 black blazers no one wonders what i do with all these black blazers but to me not all black blazers are the same every single one of them is different and this one I think is just my favorite so there's that and then there's also sweaters so my style is mostly um, preppy I really love dressing preppy when I'm going to work especially on a cold day so what I usually do is I wear a shirt underneath and then I put a sweater on top of it so I have like four black sweaters one of them I'm wearing right now it has this embroidery on the shoulder area and then there's this plain black one and then there's also this other plain black one but then now the necklines are different like this one is a v-neck this one is a round neck and what makes this one stand out is the fact that it has this so i really love wearing them and i just never get tired of wearing them and yes i will be doing the same even in 2019 like i literally still can't believe we're going to 2019 but yes i will be wearing these very much still so i'm not taking them to eldoret you know the whole idea of taking other things to eldoret is so that i do not wear them too much anymore and then the next thing is this shirt like this is my favorite favorite shirt it's just this one with the lip prints it's very long i bought it from zaful why i love it so much is because um I can wear it as just the shirt like that and let the prints be seen but then because I just told you my style is very preppy I often wear it underneath these sweaters of mine and then you know I just walk out I wear a shirt I wear a sweater and then I wear a blazer over it so it looks very nice and preppy and office appropriate the next thing that I have worn to death is this white tank top you guys have worn it so much that I wore it underneath my 
uh, navy blue peplum dress and uh, my dress kind of ruined it finally finally it's spoiled but who cares no one can see it. I don't even think you can notice it. But I've really worn this so many times. And it's so crazy because I just unhanged it. I just took it from the hanging line. So there's that. And then I have this dress. You guys, this happens to be one of my favorite skater dresses of all time. Like the first time I wore it was at my graduation party. It looked so beautiful. Look at that print. It's amazing. It's just very nice. The dress is knee length. It just makes me look cute. And that's why I always find an excuse to wear it. So imagine, like I, I wore it at my graduation party. Everybody loved it. It looked perfect underneath my gown and then after that I just started finding multiple ways of wearing it. So sometimes I'll just wear a blazer or over it when I'm going to work. And I'm really having some focusing problems. Oh, what's happening? What's happened? But yes, I found different ways of wearing it and now I feel like it's time that I took it to LD and just gave it a rest. Although I feel like even when I'll be in Eldoret, I'll wear it at some point point in time but it's fine it's my dress anyway so i'm allowed to wear it as many times as i would like to it's just that it needs to go home and rest and uh there's that oh, oh oh there's a pair of leggings let me let me get the leggings <laughs> well the next one is um this pair of leggings they're high-waisted they have three buttons which is something i really love and i bought this for like 150 bob i think two years ago now i've worn them so much they're starting to look tired and they're still a bit wet because i was wearing them yesterday <laughs> so um there's that pair of leggings this is my last most worn piece for today's video um i can't seem to find a certain dress over there which also, I knew I've just worn too often, but when I find it and wear it again, because I have a feeling I'll be wearing it again, I'll be sure to mention it. And there's also a pendant that I'm always wearing. I just don't know where I put it this time, and it's starting to frustrate me because I've looked for it every single place I can think of, and I can't seem to find it. So those are my most worn pieces of 2018. Most of them are going back to Eldoret, but I, the leathers are staying here. The shoes, except for the sneakers, which I will be wearing tomorrow. Those ones are staying here. So thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Let me get back to the vlog because I was vlogging before this. And um, I actually don't know when this is going to go up. But I will see you in my next video.